This film serves as a training video on how to mount and install an inverter belonging to the Powador TL3 series. It is absolutely necessary that you read the printed operating and installation instructions. The warnings and safety instructions which are provided in the operating instructions must be complied with entirely. Please note, the power door may only be installed by trained and qualified electricians. There are four steps to this installation. You can check the progress on this display. Preparation. You need the following for the installation. The inverter and the fittings in the accompanying installation kit. In addition, you will need the following materials and tools. A battery-operated screwdriver complete with a bit for Phillips recess head screws. A hammer drill with 12 mm drilling head. A ruler and a pencil to mark the drilling holes. Maintain the following minimum clearances around the unit. 50 centimeters between inverters mounted side by side. 70 centimeters between inverters mounted above each other. 50 centimeters to cabinets, shelves, ceilings, or similar. To be able to open the inverter properly, at least 100 centimeters clearance in front of the appliance is required. Mounting. Mark the drilling holes according to the specified clearances. Drill the holes and countersink the accompanying dowels. Put the inverter into position and tighten the screws. Secure the inverter into position by fixing the angle brackets onto the housing and wall. Electrical connection. The inverter connection is established via terminals in the connection area. For access to the area, please unlock and open the door. Please note that there are two different device options, type M and XL. The difference lies in the position of the DC connectors. In the following example, you will see the XL version along with a terminal box including line fuses and a surge voltage protector. Please make sure to only use five core cables with sufficiently large cross sections. This prevents excessive line impedance between the mains distribution board and the inverter. If the voltage at the grid terminals exceeds the line voltage limit, the inverter will be switched off due to grid overvoltage. First of all, the AC lead is connected. Unlock the cable fittings and insert the cables through the terminal box into the connection area. Connect the cores according to the labeling on the terminal and make sure that all leads are connected properly and firmly. Then tighten the cable seal of the cable fitting. Afterwards, the DC cables of the PV generator are connected. Before connecting, always ensure that the three integrated DC disconnectors are switched to the off position. Unlock the cable fittings on the underside of the inverter. Insert the DC cables through the cable fittings into the connection area and, if required, remove the insulation of the cable heads. Open the line fuses and attach the cable ends onto the DC connectors. Check that the cables are connected properly and firmly. Secure the cable fittings which are not in use with protective caps. Please take into consideration that the inverter's three MPP trackers can be wired asymmetrically. Please refer to the extensive information on this in the manual. The inverter features several communication interfaces. 
you can find them on the connection board in the inverter's connection area. Please follow the instructions in the manual and the information on the necessary software settings. In order to fix the covering panel, please remove the perforated EMC panel. Afterwards, clip the covers onto the side and top housing and fix them with the accompanying threaded screws. Then remount the perforated EMC panel. Rotate the attachment spigots into the blue covers and insert them on the bottom side of the inverter. Start up. Now the inverter is mechanically and electrically installed. You can only put the inverter into operation under daylight conditions when the solar generator is energized by following the next few steps. Switch on the solar generator using the three DC circuit breakers. Close and lock the front door. Now turn on the mains voltage again. Three LEDs on the left side of the display indicate the current status of the inverter. The upper LED flashes when the inverter is operating. The middle LED flashes as soon as the inverter is feeding in. The lower LED only flashes in the event of an operational malfunction. The inverter is operated via six buttons on the right side of the display. Switching on the inverter for the first time, the setup wizard is displayed. It will guide you through all necessary settings before the initial startup. In order to choose a setting, just navigate to the desired menu item by pressing the up or down arrow. To select the desired menu point, press the Enter button. The arrow on the right takes you to a further submenu. Press the Escape button to go back. Please confirm your settings with the Enter button. Congratulations, you have completed the initial configuration and your inverter can now be put into operation. You will find extra explanatory material in the inverter's comprehensive operational instruction guide.